What is going on guys? Today I'm going to be answering one of the hardest questions in the game. What are the best weapons to pick up? And the reason why you want to know the answer to that question is because these weapons cost money. Now if you would like to see a video how to get these weapons without spending any money, let me know in the comment section down below. We can get this video to 200 likes. I'll put up that video ASAP so you guys can know exactly how to pick up these weapons without having to pay any money. So let's go ahead and get started with the first slot. We're going to go slot by slot, sidearms, shotguns, and uh, we'll go all work our way through and let you guys know exactly which are the best for each category. Starting on with these sidearms, you're only going to be able to pick one of all of these weapons. Now, you have a couple options. You could go with a hand cannon or you could go with a, a shotgun, like a, you know, a double barrel shotgun or a sawed-off shotgun. Now, the sawed-off shotguns are good, but if you already have a shotgun in your slot, you're definitely going to want to decide which sidearm to pick. And the best sidearm to actually pick, guys, is the 44 Magnum Cannon. There's a really, really good weapon because it gives you good accuracy, gives you nice damage, gives you good range, so you're going to be able to fight enemies far distance, and it gives you a good rate of fire. Plus, the handling is awesome on this weapon, so I highly recommend, when you get a chance, pick up the 44 Magnum Cannon, and you guys should be golden. Now onto the shotguns guys, which is the best shotgun currently in the game? Now a lot of these look really amazing, but to me the best shotgun in the game is the SB, the farmhand. This one comes with the accuracy 5, damage 7, range 5, rate of fire is 2, so this is going to be a slower fighting shotgun and handling. Now this to me is the best one, but if for some reason you can't handle the rate of fire, you think it's too slow, you can definitely go with this Bass 12. It's a really, really good weapon. The only thing you're going to be missing on here is the accuracy. Now, if your shots are on point with this one, then definitely this one would be the better for you guys since you'll be able to shoot more a lot quicker. But for me, this one actually is hits a lot harder, especially when you're trying to hunt down, you know, larger bosses and uh, animals. So either of the two would probably be your best bet. Next up, we have the submachine, guys. We only have four to actually pick from this one, guys. And I am going to tell you guys which is the best. So the best one right here is this one, the MPK-5. So this one's really good, and you're able to unlock this by with the club. Now, if you want to know exactly details on how to unlock this weapon, let me know in the comment section down below because I do have it unlocked on my other account. But definitely, this is something you're definitely going to want to go ahead and pick up. If you don't have the club and aren't able to get this one, then definitely your second choice would be the MP5. It's kind of like the same thing. This is just a K version, and this is just the same you know, MP5. It's just a little bit of a different stats. It's just that the handling on this one, it's much, much superior than the handling on the you know MP5. So definitely keep that in mind, guys. One of the two would probably serve you best. Now moving on to our beloved rifles. Now these are actually pretty interesting because the best weapon out of this one is this one right here. Now we have a couple variants, guys. We have the AKMS, the Whitetail, and we have the AKMS Warrior. These are the same weapons, but to me, these are by far the best ones to pick from. This is just going to be depending on the color of variant that you want. If you want to go the green or if you want to go with this one. But both of them are really, really solid weapons, and I would highly recommend you guys to pick these up. This is by far the best assault rifle currently right now in the game. Now, going over the sniper rifles, guys, throughout the sniper rifles, we have actually two that I want to recommend to you guys. This one is called the Jacob Rifle. I wouldn't recommend you guys buying this one. I would actually just defeat the Jacob Seed, and you will automatically get this weapon. This is an 8883. Good accuracy, good damage, and good range. The other one I would want to recommend to you guys is this one right here, the SA-50. This one has good accuracy, good damage, good range, but the rate of fire is a lot more superior than the Jacob one. So you're going to be able to fire out that second sniper rifle in case you miss right off the bat really, really fast. So these are the ones I would recommend, guys, the SA-50 or the Jacob's rifle. You do have different variants for this one. So you have the MPB is the same one as this one right here, but, uh, you know, with a different color variant. So those are the two snipers I would highly recommend. And the last section we're going to be looking at is the bows, guys. We have a set of three different bows, guys. The best one I would recommend is the Recurve Bow. This is actually a really good accurate one. Good damage, good range, good handling. I would definitely recommend this one if you guys are into you know, using a, a bow. So I highly recommend it. And those guys are by far the best weapons you can pick up in the game. I am going to have a video going over the secret weapons that you're able to get within the game. So if that's something you guys would like to see, let's try to get this video to 200 likes. Don't forget, guys, if you want to stay up to date to everything Far Cry and you enjoy videos like this, don't forget to hit that sub. Turn on your notifications so you guys know exactly when they go live and don't forget for all things far cry make sure you guys keep it locked on this channel and i will catch you guys on the next video